think that I've had an opportunity twice to uh, play a character that has a, a large transformation. Um, but with currently with Billy, I don't feel that there is subtext, and that is a very interesting um, person to to be with every day. That it's such a it's on a, such a pure level, and on that level, you have a, a journey and a trans and a big transformation. I'm I'm straying. I like I like a character <laughs> that is layered and interesting and full and um, and has movement in it. It's impossible when you're playing a character in a way because you have a whole life yeah. and a whole history of a person to understand. You can't do that in, I don't care how long you're running. Yeah, Phantom, right. you don't know everything about the Phantom. No yeah. You have a lot <laughs> more. Secrets. It's, he's, got, <laughs> he's got crushes, he's got a lot of things you know, to figure out. That's what's so exciting about it is that the work is never done. Yeah. But there's a pleasure in the research and I think in the process that if you're smart, it'll inform you every night, I think, in a really fun way. Uh, yeah. right. You know, it's an opportunity. If I'm nervous about it, I go in and I say, well, this is, I have about, I have three, four minutes to really disappear for a little bit with, with this, whether I like the character or I like the writing, whatever, it's different. And I get a chance to explore that for a couple of minutes in my life, and then it's over. And if I don't f com f uh, fully commit to it, then it's pointless, in a way. It's a very philosophical way of going in a room. Really, I'm just like, I want the job. <laughs> so, and like Nikki was saying, there's so many other things that contributed yeah. for me to getting, to getting Venus and Fur. That was not just me being prepared or doing anything, but the people that were in that room, the people that those people spoke to, and having somebody take a chance on me. People are so saturated with things that you know, don't matter and, it, and it's fed to you so quickly that maybe what you are looking for is two hours of something that is real and, mm -hmm. and you can't dispute it in any way. That would be so exciting if that were true, yeah. Nikki. Yeah. That would... I was always interested in, in the stories of it. I remember, I think Les Mis was the first show that I saw <laughs> and, and we prepped for a week and it was all Les Mis all day, every day. <laughs> Paper dolls, my mom made paper dolls. I knew the story inside and out. And we, it was just such an event for us to go to the theater. So it was always cool for me, but it was, I think, because of the stories, yeah.